Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today I'm going to discuss sugar. Um, whether you should have it before or after exercise, whether it's for increasing energy, for more muscle, or for fat loss. Now I bring this up because someone asked an interesting question the other day about sugar and more specifically honey. And they ask, I read that I should have some sugar before a workout to give me more energy and for fuel for my muscles. Is this true? This expert stated that I should have natural sugar such as honey. This makes sense, but I wanted to ask your opinion, Dr. Sam. Sure. So I can understand how, you know, fuel for your muscles before workout makes sense, but not when it comes to sugar. And it doesn't make a difference if it's artificial white table sugar or natural, you know, sugar such as honey or fruit or fruit juice or even like agave nectar or anything similar. At the end of the day, sugar is sugar. And whether your goal is to gain muscle or to lose fat or simply be as healthy as possible, you must manage your blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Now, keep in mind that natural sugars such as agave nectar or similar to honey contains high amounts of fructose, which is fruit sugar, which goes mainly into your liver. That's where it gets stored. Unfortunately, your liver has low amounts of storage capabilities, only about 25 grams or 100 calories of fructose before liver glycogen has hit its you know, limit. Then it quote unquote, you know, spills over and can get stored as body fat. Thus, you need to limit sugars, especially fructose, because it can get stored as body fat quickly. In fact, let me simplify things a little bit more. When you consume carbohydrates, they're stored in the body in basically two forms or types. There's liver glycogen, which is from fructose. Again, fruit sugar, you know, honey, different nectar, syrups, and so forth. Then there is muscle glycogen, which is from starches. Again, things such as rice and breads, pastas, legumes, and so forth. Again, I'm oversimplifying things, but I think you get the point. Now, the main difference is the amount of carbs you can store and thus should eat. As stated earlier, your liver can typically store only about 25 grams or 100 calories of fructose before it spills over and gets stored as body fat. However, muscle glycogen has a lot more storage room. You have a lot more muscle. And the more muscle you have, the more starches and carbohydrates you can consume, especially when compared to that small amount of liver glycogen, which again is 25 grams or 100 calories. So you want to make sure that your muscle glycogen has enough fuel for your workouts, which should come ideally from starches and complex carbs, again, such as rice and breads, legumes, and similar foods. However, you also want to keep your blood sugar stable before your workout so you don't crash and get tired in the middle of your workout because of up and down in your blood sugar levels. So I suggest a solid meal about maybe one or two hours before your workout, proteins, carbs, and maybe small amounts of fats to prevent any sugar spikes. Something easy to digest. You don't want to be bloated during your workout. For example, chicken, white ripes, and uh, maybe small amounts of fat, maybe such as fish oil or coconut or MCT oil, or maybe even flaxseed oils and so forth, small amounts. By the way, this can be a small meal, right? It doesn't have to be big. Of course, this all depends on your goals, your workouts, your metabolism, and so forth. There are way too many uh, variables to list here. I'm just kind of giving you a simple example. Now, after your workout, you also want to, again, replenish and fill up your glycogen levels and storage levels that were just depleted from your exercise and your workout. However, this time, you want, you want to do both. You want to fill up both muscle and liver glycogen. Now, you may have a liquid shake or drinks, uh, or that's what some people do, or you have another solid meal. Again, some starches and complex carbs and protein. However, now you also can have a small amounts of fructose to quickly fill up your liver glycogen, all right? Now you can add some fruit, right, or honey if you prefer. So if, you know, if you're eating large amounts of your daily carbohydrates, you want to do so before and after your workout. Now, if you're trying to gain muscle and trying to gain some weight, you can continue eating more carbs the rest of the day. Or if your goal is to lose fat, then simply limit or avoid carbohydrates the rest of the day. However, in both scenarios, no more fructose since you already filled up your liver glycogen with the fructose after your workout. Again, remember the fruit and the honey and so forth. Remember, there's nothing wrong with carbohydrates if you know how much to take, what kind, and when. Again, all depending on your goals and your metabolism. 
Your goal is and should always be to improve your blood sugar levels and increase insulin sensitivity. This will result in more muscle, less body fat, more energy, and just a much healthier life. And if you're interested in making these improvements, then visit the link below in the description area and utilize one of my favorite solutions that can naturally help lower your blood sugar levels by up to 46% and also improve insulin sensitivity at the same time. It's the same proven formula that my family and I have been using since 2001 for a long time. So take a look right now while it's fresh in your mind and let me know how it works for you. Make sure you share the health and let other people know about this video and today's topic so they can benefit as well. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and then click the bell icon. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.